Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly, for those of you who are new. Um, so, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this video, but I am going to start decorating my house for Christmas. It is November 8th. It's actually about a week later than I wanted to start. I actually wanted to start November 1st. Now, I did pull out a couple things, um, and I did start slowly decorating with like two or three things. But, um, I really want to get started. I have a lot of stuff in my basement. I'm like standing on a Costco stool right now. I'm like literally sitting on Costco stool. I have my ceiling fan turned off, otherwise it would be like in the frame. But anyway, um, the reason I am coming to you from my kitchen is I'm going to start in here. I have a lot of glassware that I need to, to bring out here and I have a lot of this stuff that needs to go. Like, like all this turquoisey stuff has to go. Now I'm going to keep the green Pyrex. I'm going to keep this green glass compote thingy. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but all the blue is going to go. Like all of this is going to go. And uh, all these glasses, let me step down here a second. Excuse my uh, morning attire. I'm still like in my pajamas and I haven't done a thing with myself. But most of this video is going to be the the Christmas decor that I'm going to, going to set out. So you're really not going to see me for most of this. Um, or you might. I don't know yet. See, see, I don't know what I'm going to do with this video. But anyway, I will look better later. I have to get a shower later. So I will look, I'll look more presentable later. But I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm going to do today. Like all this is going to go. Like all this <laughs> is changing. Um, some of my shelf down here, you can't see it behind me, but I have a lot of, see if you can see, see these mugs right, right here. <laughs> all those are going to go. I have a ton of Christmas vintage mugs that I'm going to pull out and sit out. So basically, let me see, get down here so you can see. Basically like all of this is going to go, a couple of greens. These plates have to stay because we use this all the time in the bowls. Um, but like this plate um, is going to go. I might leave this plate because it's green and I use it all the time. But let me put this down just a little bit. I'm trying not to show my kitchen counter because we still have dirty dishes sitting out. But um, like I have the snowflake garland corning or corral, excuse me, the corral. So I'll probably leave those out because they're snowflakes. But all this is going to go. Um, I'm probably going to leave these because these are our um, crystal uh, glasses we use all the time for wine and then we have this um, Tyrol, Culver Tyrol and it's got the gold. The gold is very Christmassy so I'll leave that. But like a lot of this is going to go and then I'm going to fill up over Christmas. So anyway, <coughs> back in my purse here. So <laughs> anyway, that's the goal of today. I have a lot of stuff to pull down from the basement and um, so let's just go ahead. I'm going to start taking some, some stuff down. And um, today's video might just be the kitchen. I have the rest of the house to do. I don't know if I have the energy or fortitude to complete the whole house today. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I have them cleared off. I actually wiped them down as well because they are very, very dusty and disgusting. Uh, you found a couple dead bugs. Not that you really need to know that, but just keep it real. Um, so I <laughs> clean that off. And now I need to go down to my basement and dig up everything. Um, I did say the two green items were going to stay up there, but I took them off for two reasons. One, I needed to clean the shelf, and two, they were dusty themselves, so I had to clean them off. So I am now going to spend a good part of my day getting everything up from the basement, organizing, figuring out what needs to go up here. So for me, I probably will be back in about an hour or more. <laughs> for you guys, it'll be like the next second. Okay, here's another view of it. I am going to go row by row, a little bit more close-ups of the glasses. I was thinking as I was putting them up on the shelves, I probably should have done that, but um, before I do that, I have a couple things here. Let's zoom a little bit. I want to add. 
while we're here. I was done doing all the video and I thought of a couple more things I wanted to put in here. So I got this cute vintage Christmas seasons greetings tray. So I think that looks good there. And I almost forgot, I have a sugar and a creamer that I need to put up here. Now they don't match, but they're both Christmas. So, but I really would love to find the creamer to this sugar. This one is, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. What is the brand? I, there's still sugar in it left from last year, so I'm probably going to empty that out. Yeah, George's Brew are this right. So I really, really want to find the creamer to this. But for now, I have this one and that this works. It's so pretty and so cute. Now, the issue is, as I was putting everything up here on the shelves, I realized that I'm short some glasses. So I know I have three more of those. And there's some glasses there on the end I'll show you in a second. I know I've got a couple more of those. So I think I have some more boxes somewhere and I cannot find them, it's driving me nuts. Also, I gotta put something Christmassy up here. This is just an empty blank space that's driving me nuts. I will, I have a couple Christmas trays, but I think they're too big. So down here I have these snowflake garland plates and everything, so that's cool. I also found some more Corel plates that are this size that have holly leaves on them. I have to figure out where to put them. I might just stack them here, but I'm a little nervous about the shelf. I'm a little concerned that it's going to be too heavy with all that, so we'll see. So all these really sweet vintage mugs. These are glass bake. Back here, these are the Corning. Let's see if I can show you. It's upside down, but yes, it's Corning. And I'm pretty sure I actually have more of these mugs somewhere. I thought I had a ton more of those. Um, so I have this one. I believe this is Corning as well. Yeah, this is Corning. It's hard to see, but it does. I can see this is Corning. At first I thought these were um, Fire King when I first bought them at a flea market, but these are actually Thermo, what is it? Oh no, Thermocrisa, Thermocrisa, or Thermo. No, no, it's not a T, it's just a T. Um, anyway. So, and I love these. These are my newest find. One of my recent videos, I had this on there. Oops, I said the price tag on them. But yeah, I got that. I got Snoopy, which he is just absolutely awesome. I love the Noel mug. And I, again, I think I've got another one of this one somewhere. I'm pretty sure that is driving me absolutely nuts. Why is this so unclear? My phone does not want to zoom in or focus. I do apologize. I have all the lights on. I don't know why. Yeah, I have all the lights on. I, it must be the lighting is really bad right now. One of my favorite mugs. This is an Andy Warhol design Christmas mug. Let me see if I can get a little bit more clear for you guys so you can see it. This was a Goodwill find. Did I leave the sticker on this? No, I put it on off. I have no idea what I spent for this. Not much, because I'm extremely cheap and I don't spend a whole lot. These, these mugs are a favorite of mine as well. I got three of them at Goodwill, and the one I found on eBay to finish the set. So I love these. These are, let me put this one down, made in Japan, I do believe, yep. And I just love them. The colors are so vibrant and vivid, and just the paint is really nice and shiny. And all, everything you see here on these shelves is all hand washed. Like, I will not put any of these in the dishwasher. Um, but, yeah, oh, this is my Pyrex. Did I say that? I don't think I said this is my Pyrex Christmas mug. And um, these, I got the flea market last year. I think they're like a dollar each. Um, something like that, really, really cheap. I forget the maker. I'm gonna look these up, and if I find the maker, I will put the maker on the bottom of the screen. See, I should have dusted this. Sorry about that, guys. Jeez, that's so gross. I'm, <laughs> don't touch me. These, I got up in the Adirondacks at a little, not like a thrift store, but kind of a thrift store. I didn't realize these were Culver until I saw down here. It literally says Culver. And these are so sweet because they just look like cross stitch or something. Very pretty. And then these are just some more Culver glasses and then all the little teeny tiny Christmas glasses. I don't know if they're shot glasses or just, I just call them shot glasses, but I purposely got like, they're all different. Like I don't have two of the same. I like having the variety. And then of course the crystal glasses I kept and then this cute little placemat I got. Oops. I thought it would be more clear, but um, I got that placemat at my local thrift store for like 80 cents or something. I love the picture on it. Now moving on to the next one, I have some Coke ones, so this really cute Santa one, which I love. This sweet one, I I think I thrifted somewhere, I got the flea market, and the one behind it, I don't think the one behind it is actually a Coke oh, I can't remember, but it has the cute Christmas tree. It doesn't really go with anything else that I have, but I just thought it was really fun, and I like, I just figured it would 
I try to put things in order. So like these are all the, these are actually from Arby's. Let me see if I can prove this. To, okay, here we go. Let's see if I can zoom in and do show you. Sorry, I apologize for how shaky my hand is. Arby's 1985 Christmas collection. So these are the Arby's ones. Um, and these are, these three in a row are Coke. And then these two rows are the Holly Hobby ones. So I have a few of those. So two rows of those, and then I have an extra one to put back there. <laughs> and then I have these two rows of these Holly glasses. And again, I cannot remember who makes these. I want to say Hazel Atlas, maybe. Not sure. Again, I'm going to look these up, and I will tell you at the bottom of the screen so that you know who made them. I'm not sure who made these. I know, I think these are Coke as well. Yeah, these are Coca-Cola, but these are specifically the Holly Hobby Coca-Cola. And then these are the Fred Press. I love these. These were a thrift store find. I want to say a year and a half ago and these are really cool because they have this they're really cool they have this grippy plasticky texture I don't know what you want to call it but so I look leaning way over here um, let me go to the other side of the uh, counter hold on okay because how my kitchen counter is I have to like it's like a peninsula so I have to go around, go around the other side so those are the front press and then this is just a random one I found a while back but it was just so cute I love the Ziggy Closer. The paint is like perfect on this. It's just so fantastic. Christmas, enjoy. Isn't that great? No, what does it say on the back? Maybe it says a year. It does. Let me see if I can get it. I think this is 1980. Let's get a little bit closer. Sorry, Jakey. 1980. Yep, there we go. Okay. So definitely vintage, darling. Absolutely wonderful. And these, these are the other glasses. I swear I've got four of them because I love these. They say Merry Christmas on one side and then you can turn them around and you can use them for New Year's. It says Happy New Year. And I love, love, love these. Again, I know I've got two more. It's driving me nuts. I don't know where they are. So I'm gonna have to dig through my garage later. But, um, so there's that. Okay, and on the top shelf, I just have a little sled that I got at Goodwill recently. Um, I paid like $1.50 for this thing. It was like half off. And then these trees I got from the Dollar Tree. So if you like these trees, I recently bought these. So if you go to your local Dollar Tree, you probably will find them really pretty. I think they're like a dollar twenty-five each. Uh, not too bad. And got some of my rare Pyrex. Uh, these were special buy. These were got these over a couple years, I think. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, the golden, the gold gooseberry bowls harder to find. Um, but yeah, these are my. Spe I only pulled those out around Christmas because they're really special. Uh, the only thing on this shelf that was originally here that I left, what I actually want to do is fill it with some Christmas balls, like maybe gold or something, um, or red even. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. And uh, the best of the best, the Christmas Pyrex Bowl. Um, this one was made for, was given out to the employees of the company, I believe it was in the 1950s. I'm going to look this up as well so that I can give you the date. But I, it might be a guess. It might be a guess. If there's a question mark next to it, it's because it's the best guess. Um, and then this is just a basic bowl. Anyone can could buy that one. But I love this one. I've made so many Christmas cookies in that bowl. That's the 404. It's like a, I forget how many quarts. Two quarts, four quarts? I can't remember. Anyway, so love this. Um, this was a Christmas present that Josh gave me years ago. It's in like perfect condition. It's very, very, it was like never used. Um, so I treasure that so much. Uh, just some Christmas trees for decor. This eggnog. Fire King set. We actually got this years ago from a guy across the street. He had a shop, kind of like a, it's his own little thrift store, flea market, and um, we paid $35 for the box. It has the original ladle in it, or scoop, or whatever you want to call that. And that little tree, it is lit, it is on, but because it's bright enough in here, you really can't see it. That really doesn't show until it gets dark in here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'm going to end it here, guys. This is just a, it for the day. Um, this was... A lot of unboxing and I have to box up everything that was on these shelves so I'm not looking forward to that let me tell you but anyway so yeah I have to get something in here this is driving me nuts because this is not festive at all I'm very unhappy with that. <laughs> but it's it's we're still early on I'll find something um, but even if I do find these other glasses I'll be honest I have so much here now because these glasses are new this year and I think I got these over the summer um, so I've got plenty of glasses. If I find the other three, I'm just going to donate them or give them away to family or something because I don't need any more. I'm good for space. But anyway, all right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.